Hello one, hello all. Welcome back to the channel, Sim Reaper here. Alright, so we are in the European countryside once again. Absolutely love this map, it's getting really fun now. Um, and yeah, so first things first, I have turned seasons back on. Uh, as you can see, now we have the seasons chart back. Um, we have a few bits to do today actually. Um, so first thing we need to do is we have a small field here with potatoes in it as you can see they're ready to harvest <coughs> so I have leased a couple of pieces of equipment now I'm gonna have to go down to um, down to the store to pick them up so we're gonna take the John Deere Just gonna go put our weight over here. And we're gonna head down to the store to pick up this new equipment. Uh, we have, do have a nice stack of eggs uh, ready to sell. Uh, which will be in a couple of months. Oh, I've still got to put the harvester away. Forgot about that. Just get that put away quickly. I did uh, harvest all these soybeans. Uh, so we've got some, a nice stack of soybeans to sell as well. They probably won't be... The price for them probably won't be good until... Uh, I think it's July for soybeans. Yeah, 24,000 June. I was close. So it'll be a while before selling them becomes an option. But we're gonna head down to the store and we're gonna pick up our new equipment. Well, we're gonna pick up our leased equipment. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a busy episode today. Um, because I need to do, do the topping on the potatoes and I need to do the harvesting. And then I've got three fields that I'm going to need to sow. And that's going to take the longest time, but we also need to line them, we also will need to fertilize them because I'm actually planning on planting some wheat and some canola is what we can plant right now. Uh, we can also plant some barley. Um, I might do a field of wheat, a field of barley and a field of canola. Yeah, so here it is. We have a topper and a potato harvester. Now like I said, these are on lease. Uh, the topper was actually very cheap. The harvester was a bit more expensive than I'd like. As long as I don't waste too much time, we should be good. Right, so let's get up there. And we'll get this equipment underway. And I'll we'll get this harvest in the way. I've not actually used this stuff to harvest potatoes before, I don't think. I normally only just use the big um, the self-propelled harvesters so this is this is going to be an interesting change um, but it just it makes more sense to lease out this stuff for a small field of potatoes honestly I was just going to plow them out um, it would have been faster and you know it wouldn't have really cost me anything per se uh, because eventually uh, that field is going to be a permanent wheat field and always going to be giving me wheat and then I'm going to do another field of wheat just so that we can stock up on wheat for the chickens but it's like we don't really need all that much I think the a, a full feed for the chickens lasts them about four months 
but um, I think it's accurate. I'll have to do <coughs> some testing at some point. I'll make a testing map. I've got a, I've got a map I can actually use, um, and I'll use it for testing different things out. Started. Let's go. Okay, so that doesn't actually harvest at the same time, so... Do it this way then. Well, you always need to learn these things. best way to learn is to do. That's pretty much how I learn everything on FS22. I just kind of played. So this might be more trouble than it's worth, but... Now I don't think you can destroy these if you drive over them, because it's an underground crop. You, you could just destroy the crop on the plant on top. But we'll find out. Oh no, no, yeah, it destroys it. I'm not bothered. It's good to know though. Honestly, this takes way too long. But I'm curious to see how much potatoes I get off this small because I know potatoes have a relatively high yield um, so hopefully we'll get enough potatoes to make up for <coughs> the cost of <laughs> actually leasing the equipment so luckily we'll be able to sell the eggs soon Well, this is going to take a little bit, so I'll bring you back once these heads have been topped. Alright, so that is the potatoes topped. Now, it's time to harvest. 
Uh, it does look like, even if you um, run over the actual plants, um, the potatoes are still in the ground. Uh, but we shall see. Alrighty, so uh, we want to lower. Um, we're going to want to go like this. I think. Yep. This is going to be slow and awkward, but. We are picking up potatoes. Not a lot. <laughs> but we are picking some up. I think considering how much we just picked up off one pass don't think look at no go backwards thank you very much right, let's have a look at there's no difference in the uh, what's it called oh well I guess we just wasted our time because that is just not going to be worth it I could tell you that right now so let's return them so I'm not wasting my time I'm just going to plough <sighs> I mean, I got, what, 500 litres from that strip, and not only can I not tell where I've harvested, but I think it was, there was a lot missing, I should have got a lot more out of that, so, but it's fine. So, I'm going to grab the plough, plough out that field, and then we have sowing to do. Let's get to ploughing. And honestly, I'd prefer to be able to um, harvest the potatoes because, you know, at the end of the day, money's money. But the problem is it takes too long. Uh, unless you're using the actual harvesters, which we will do at some point, I'll, I'll actually lease out one of the big harvesters and we'll do a massive potato harvest. But um, we need a proper harvester for it because the pull behind ones are just awkward. I just wish it was wider. Oh, I forgot to grab the front weight. Luckily, this tractor doesn't really need it. get this field ploughed and then we'll get ready to sow. Alrighty then, so we are done with the ploughing nearly. And there we are, one nice field ready for sowing. Let's get this plough put away. Now we may have to sell the eggs early. Um, I'm going to check the prices though, obviously. Oh, I really should grab. the small plow because even though I've got the big one here I kept the small one because some of these fields are just too small for the big plow so when that's the case uh, it's easier to just use the small plow uh, I 
also want to get a bigger cedar at some point. Uh, we'll get the bigger version of this cedar. Well, for the moment, this will do. Um, so, what we want to do is we want to grab, I'll we'll change this over to wheat. We want to grab some seeds. as well grab fertilizer while we're here there we go top top ready to go i'm gonna go do the small field first just to get that out of the way and then we'll jump straight on to one of these uh, to these big fields so yeah what we're gonna do is um eight here uh, is gonna be wheat we're going to turn this big field here uh, into, we'll do canola on there. We'll do this one as a wheat, and then this one is going to be um, barley. Because uh, that's pretty much all we can plant right now anyway. get this all sewed up ready to go what I find amusing is this can actually seed and fertilize but the bigger version can only uh, can only seed which is quite surprising now of course it also cultivates uh, so th this 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 one here is perfect for smaller maps because it seeds fertilize and cultivates all at the same time which is just outstanding. fences where they are at the moment. I don't, I don't normally like the fences surrounding my fields but I'm actually <coughs> it's part of the aesthetic I think. Besides that's technically um, going to be farm anyway. I'm going to turn that all into, yard, into the yard uh, because the sheep pasture is going to grow there. Actually, get some sheep. That is the plan. However, this sowing is going to take me a while, so I will bring you back when the sowing is done. I will see you then. All right, well, uh, we are now officially in the red. We're in the negative, which isn't good. However, we are almost finished on the planting, on the uh, sowing, planting, seeding. Um, we are getting there. But I had to buy the soil samples for these fields, so that's cost me a bit of money. On top of that, I think uh, one of the rental times was up, so uh, I got, well basically, not only do you pay for every month, but you also pay for every hour of gameplay when you uh, lease the vehicle. Now luckily I'm using the, um, the lease to own mod. So technically I'm not losing money per se because the longer you have a piece of equipment uh, the less it will cost you when you actually purchase it through the lease to own system. 
which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm not sure on the exact figures though, but it's a really useful mod. Um, but this field, we are planting barley right now. I just hope I don't run out of fertilizer before, but I, which I think I'm probably going to. But that's just my luck. Uh, but I did have a worker running this, unfortunately. I ran out of money, so I can't pay for workers now. But that's not an issue. Um, I'll just do it myself. It's not a problem. But I will bring you back when this field is finished. Alrighty then. So, that would be all the sowing complete. So we have a field of barley. We have a field of wheat and we have a field of canola. Which is very, very nice. All fully fertilized and ready to go. Um, oh. I need, still need to buy the uh, field info apparently for that field, but them fields. Um, but we're just going to put the cedar away because we have other things to do. I need to lime. I'm going to put the cedar there for now. I'll get it washed later. Let's grab our slime. Our I nearly said slime spreader then. We'll grab our lime spreader and we'll get started. Now I hope I've got enough lime. If not, I'm going to have to sell the eggs. Yeah, I don't think I've got any lime. No, I don't. Okay, so... Um, We'll see how much the eggs are going to sell for. Uh, it's not ideal because obviously November's the best time. Um, 2518. So the fast food restaurant is probably going to be the best spot for it. Awesome. head over to the fast food restaurant then. We have 33,000 litres so that should be roughly 66,000. Which should last us. a relatively good amount of money uh, at some point I will have a look around maybe try and find some more collectibles like because we got lucky in one of the other episodes and found one um, I think that's the only one we have so far oh no 9 of 20 okay so we do have a few a few of the collectibles that's a good thing sell these eggs and we can get some more lime
take this wide. Bit of an awkward unload. Sixty-seven thousand plus five thousand, so that's a good amount of cash. Whew. All right, let's head back up to the farm. It's going to be annoying. There we go. Right, so we'll head back up to the farm and we'll get that liming done. Alrighty then. So we are back at the farm. Let's grab the lime we need. Fifty thousand should be enough. It's only 22,000 pounds. That'll last us a good while. So we'll fill this up and then we'll get the liming going. Alright, liming is full. So we're going to get started on the liming. I think I'll do the small wheat field first. Oh dear. Turned a little bit too quick then. Started over here. Why are you tipping? Alrighty then. Now, obviously, this is going to take a little bit of time, so I will not bore you with the details. I will see you when this is done. Alrighty then, so we are out of time. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe. Drop a comment and I will do my best to respond. And I will see you again next time.